वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू मेमरी इन आर्म सेवन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू सी हाउ मेनी एड्रेस लाइन्स आर देर विथ आर्म सेवन टी डी एम आई देन देर आर थर्टी टू एड्रेस लाइन्स विच इज देर विथ आर्म सेवन टी डी एम आई एंड बेस्ड ऑन थर्टी टू एड्रेस लाइन्स हाउ मच मेमरी दैट वी कैन इंटरफेस एट मैक्स वी कैन इंटरफेस फोर जी बी हाउ थर्टी प्लस टू थर्टी इज हैविंग जी बी एंड टू इज हैविंग टू टू द पावर टू मीन्स फोर जी बी मेमरी दैट वी कैन इंटरफेस विथ आर्म सेवन इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी दैट यूल हैव टू इंटरफेस फोर जी बी एट मैक्स वी कैन इंटरफेस फोर जी बी बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन वी शुड यूज मेमरी देर आर फ्यू मेमरीज विच इज देर ऑन चिप देर मे बी यू हैव ऑफ चिप मेमरी here on chip memory is also not provided by arm remember this see when any company is buying core of arm they are having some applications so they are using core of arm and along with that on chip they will be using some memories right that is based on the application of that particular company right so here few companies are using some memory and that is what i'll be explaining you with respect to different sections let us see all those things step by step so my dear students here as i have explained based on 32 bits of addressing with arm 7 we can have 4 gb of memory so here you should know my dear students 32 bits of addressing is having starting address that is 8 times 0 hex to 8 times f f f f f hex right and here my dear students this 4 gb of memory that is bisected into five different sections in general right let us see all those sections step by step so when we talk about first section that is there regarding on chip peripherals and io resistors so here my dear students you should know you have some general purpose resistors available right as well as there are some special function resistors those general purpose io and special function resistors that may be there regarding timer it may be there regarding serial communication it may be there regarding adc dac likewise there may be many functions right that is purely based on applications see for example if you have one chip over here in that chip here you will be having arm that will be arm 70d mi and this company who is manufacturing this chip they are just using arm 7 only and based on their application they may be having timer serial communication io port many things may be there inside single chip right so here based on the requirement this facilities will be there and this resistors those will get stored in this memory space which is referred as sfr and here my dear students to access this memory space there will be memory mapped io right so this space will be accessed by arm 7 with respect to memory mapped io and size of this memory that varies with respect to chip right here i am just showing you one example in which i have considered 64 kb of that memory right now my dear students let us see how second section is there so that is there regarding on chip data sram so here you can observe on chip data sram that i have considered and if you observe that it will be ranging from few kb to several hundreds of kb purely that is there based on the application only right as if you have low end application then few kbs will be there on chip on chip srm will be costly right so application designer will have to think about what kind of application is been performed over here based on that it will be provided over here right see it is used to store variables and stack right so it is used for stack and data variables and my dear students it will vary with respect to different chips of arm 7 here my dear students 
you should know when you compile the program at that time compiler will manage the location of this SRAM right and here I have shown 64 KB of this SRAM over here and you can observe here how it is there you see 4000 is common in both right on the last four hex digits are getting changed so four hex digits means how many bits 16 bits so 16 bits is having how much addressing 64 KB 16 means 10 plus 6 10 is having KB and 2 to the power 6 means 64 right so that is how 64 KB of SRAM that is provided over here now let us see the third section so in third section we have on chip EEPROM see this is also on chip and this on chip EEPROM that will range is from 1 KB to several hundreds of KB right that is also purely based on need of application right and it is not compulsory that this EEPROM that will be there always with this ARM7 TDMI chip here it may not be available but as if you are working with some critical program at that time this memory will be available here I have shown 4 KB of EEPROM over here with this structure of memory with ARM7 right and my dear students you should know this memory that is specially used to store some critical programs right now fourth section that is there regarding on chip flash ROM so that is also on chip remember this these four categories are on chip right out of this four this EEP ROM that is optional but this on chip peripheral on chip data SRAM as well as on chip flash ROM that will be there with most of the embedded system here my dear students this flash ROM that is also ranging from few KB to several hundreds of KB that is based on the need of application and here we are storing our program here my dear students we can use this on chip flash ROM to store some lookup table as well as we can store some fixed ASCII values over here right and here this memory's axis that is purely under control of program counter of ARM so PC that is R15 resistor of ARM7 that will be controlling the address of this memory as here we are having main program right so size of this also varies with respect to application and these are on chip so you should know my dear students on chip memory is costly but when it comes to off chip then that is the fifth category so off chip DRAM that one can interface and that could be having larger size right so you see here all these memories those are there in terms of KBs but here off chip DRAM that may be there in terms of few MBs to several hundreds of MB here our main focus is how we interface it externally right so by using address lines of ARM7 we can externally interface this memory with ARM and that even we should be selecting over here based on requirement of application right so this is how my dear students various five different sections could be there in terms of memory interface as well as on chip memory with ARM7 so here you should know my dear students when we talk about any embedded system inside there will be ARM core but application provider may be having many features based on that on chip memory will be there right so based on requirement only application provider is providing memory and this ARM7 TDMI may be there on many embedded system and you can search out on the various websites of ARM provider in that you will be observing this ARM7 TDMI that have been used in varieties of applications even I have seen in many colleges many people are using this and you should have some basic knowledge regarding how memory is there it is not like there will be fixed sets of memory it will vary with respect to chip still if any confusion is there you just post that in comment box I'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video